Sorry about that. I just I just got cut off. This is just an immediate uh, follow up on the last video. I, I was trying to take my damn uh, my damn um, um, phone out of the out of the, the holder, and yeah, I'm not really good at getting it out of there without bumping something that makes it stop recording. Unfortunately, but uh, I definitely want to finish this while I while it's on my mind and go in there. So hopefully you followed. Follow from the last video to this video. If you're uh, starting on this video and you didn't listen to the last video, please do, because I'm kind of getting into the into deep stuff. Uh, I may lose subscribers on this, and I don't care. Just throwing that out there. Love you all for watching, but, uh, you know, this is, uh, just, this is just me speaking my mind. Um, anyway, um, so I didn't... Wow, this sidewalk is overgrown in a big way. Look at this, we got, I guess you can't really see it. We got bushes or vines or something on the chain link and then we got grass growing up through the, uh, through the crack between the curb and the sidewalk leaving not much in the way of a sidewalk. And on a completely different, different note, oh cool, we still got irrigation over here, nice. Uh, on a completely different note, um, I've been watching this YouTube channel about a guy in Texas that tries to find elderly people who've neglected their sidewalks like that and this and and just in order to make a video takes care of them himself uh power washes them and 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 uh, it's amazing how nice some people's sidewalks are underneath all the growth that they've uh, ignored oh my goodness look at this look at this person's irrigation I think they got the irrigation going, but it's completely flooded their uh, flooded their um, driveway. Wild! I didn't realize this neighborhood still had irrigation, so that's pretty neat. All right, I've been wanting to walk down this alley to see where it goes. Um, so yeah, I'm going back to Osbar for uh, for karaoke. Uh, since oh, and, and in case you hadn't noticed, I still have my car. Um, Rob just wasn't available today to take it for uh, take it to get the AC worked on. He says come in tomorrow. Yeah, I, that's kind of worrying me. But, you know, as long as he's got the uh, alternator and gets it done to... Or, well, not alternator, I'm sorry, the compressor for the AC. Yeah, as long as he gets it done. And if he doesn't, you know, whatever. I'll, if I have to make it to Amazon on the bus, I at least I know the routine. Um, anyway, I said I was going to continue what I was just talking about, and I really haven't. I'm sidetracked on everything else that I was going to talk about before I got sidetracked on what I was talking about. Well, this alley is... Crazy dirty. Um, anyway, uh, what the fuck? That was interesting. So, uh, six people loitering in the alley in the dark that I almost walked into. And the reason that alley is so dirty is these dumpsters have been placed. I don't know if y'all can see them. These dumpsters have been placed in such a way to as block uh, block through traffic into the alley. So basically, we got a little I don't want to say encampment, but we got homeless people just kind of squatting over there. I almost walked over them. Literally walked over them. I couldn't see them. So ah, fun times. And here we have. The back of the patio at Oz, which I've kind of looked at that and couldn't see what was going on, so this is interesting. I'm assuming there's no parking here. Kind of disappointing to see that alley's been capped off. But yeah, I'm assuming this is no parking, or there'd be people parked here. And the sign this is no through traffic. There's no sign regarding parking though. We got another alley that says no through traffic. I think I'm gonna walk this way. Because I really want to get back to the subject of the last video, but now my thoughts are fading of where I had left off. Oh shit. This is a rough thing about being me and having the object permanence issues that I have. Is that when I lose my train of thought, it's often gone forever. And at least by me recording these these videos, some of these thoughts are being kept. So even though they're they're not in my mind anymore, at least they're somewhere. Um, God, I was talking about oh oh yeah. So anyway, so during this video, and there was this, this interview, this was two videos ago. Um, 
there was this uh, video, or what do you call it? There's this woman being interviewed on KTAR about what the Arizona law was going to be with Roe versus Wade and how she's really excited that it, she thinks that the 1911 law should take take precedence over the new law that was being enacted that I believe, and in, in, in fact, check me if you need to, like I said, I, I'm trying to go from memory and my memory is pretty fractured at best, but uh, um, I believe the new, the new Arizona law, which was basically crafted to be in compliance with Roe versus Wade, um, I believe the way it, it was written is it limits limits abortions to the first 11 weeks, maybe 12 weeks. And it's, uh, which of course would allow for, for the plan B pill, which I have zero issues with that. Um, and it also, uh, allows for, you know, abortions in, in, in horrific situations like, whoa, hello, big dog. Uh, you know, horrific situations such as uh, um, rape, molestation, um, um, medical issues, uh, you know, where, where complications of the pregnancy are putting the mother's life at risk or, um, or, or there's something so horrifically wrong with the baby that it's probably best not to... Uh, let the child come to, to full term. Now that's that's another sticky subject. I am there's, and I'm not going to try to get sidetracked on that. But at any rate, the, the the law that was supposed to go into effect very soon, it's already been signed by Governor Doug Ducey. Um, it, it's it strikes me as reasonable for the most part. I don't agree with everything in it, you know. And, and on some of it, I'm, eh, you know, whatever. It's, I'm not getting pregnant anytime soon. <laughs> the way, the way I'm going with my life, I'm not getting anyone else pregnant anytime soon either. So, but, but I mean, you know, whatever. Um, not really bothered. <laughs> Apparently I set off their alarm simply by walking down the alley. I have a sign that says private alley, residence only, but yeah, that's not really how alleys work. That is a uh, public right of way. So hope they enjoy their alarm. Uh, anyway, looks like I'm on 17th Avenue. <laughs> I'm gonna have to walk that alley more because that alarm is, alarm is ridiculous. Uh, if you don't want a house adjacent to an alley, don't buy a house adjacent to an alley. Hello. Didn't have a problem with the lights coming on, but that siren is overkill. God, you can still hear it over here, too. Um, oh, yeah, I'm here. May as well push the butt. So, yeah, not, not particularly bothered by the law that was going into effect. That seemed like some good state-level... State-level... Uh, limitations, because God knows I've, I've been hearing in, in like the state of Virginia where they were talking about something that's like functionally after, you know, basically delaying, delaying childbirth um, so that an abortion can be performed after the child would have been naturally born so it, they can still be in compliance with Roe versus Wade. To me, that's absolutely horrific. Um, I, I can't see that as anything less than murder. Um, yeah. God, I can still have an alarm over here. That's crazy. <laughs> Whoever owns that alarm is enjoying it. Because I didn't break any laws. I just walked down a public right-of-way. Uh, finally, it shut off. Uh, anyway, but yeah, to hear that suddenly that there's this really extreme 1911 law on the books. And I might have to take some time to go to the state law library and kind of do a little research on what that law is and 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 kind of where it where it came from what surrounded that um and for those who are unaware the uh arizona state capitol uh as in the in the old capitol which is mostly a museum uh does have an amazing state archives law library that has lots of old books 
old law books with laws that really aren't in effect anymore because they've been either superseded by other laws or they've been uh, been made um, been made invalid by by you know federal Supreme Court or Arizona Supreme Court decisions. Anyway, one of them would definitely be this 1911 abortion law, which is just basically translates into no, regardless of circumstance. And um, and one thing that I commented, and I didn't comment much when I was when I was driving and just listening to the uh, the interview on KTAR. Um, one thing I did comment when she talked about, oh, well, yeah, this is still in the books. And, and she seemed really excited and happy about it, which I was just like, whoa, 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 whoa. Like, I'm, 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 I'm feeling very positive about what happened with Roe versus Wade and taking, making this a state issue. But, wow, this is a pretty, pretty awful unintended consequence that suddenly a 1911 law that was presumed to be null and void, it's still on our books. Why do we still have shit like that on our books? Why, why didn't the legis state legislature at some time in the last, you know, 110 years, 111 years, remove that? And, and, and why isn't there some sort of a law that when something like that becomes illegal through some other operation of law that it just is automatically invalidated and validated as a matter of law. Like, why is there not a, 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 a legal mechanism for that? Wow. And, and so anyway, the, the, I didn't make too many comments while the interview was rolling because I was pretty focused on listening to it and there weren't much in the way of pauses on it. But one comment I did make when they got to that, the subject of, of that law was that, that holy shit, um, Arizona still has a law in the books that prohibits interracial, dare, uh, interracial dating and marriage. Arizona still has a law in the books for that. And if for some crazy reason, I don't see it happening, but just throwing it out there, bizarre hypothetical situation, which describes pretty much the last 10 years of this country. Um, um, if, if loving versus loving were to be overturned, if the current Supreme Court were to decide that there is no constitutional right to interracial marriage or interracial dating, and they're already talking about invalidating gay marriage, um, that if they were to, to say, and, and most of that decision was based on loving versus loving, um, if they were to invalidate loving versus loving and say, well, you know what, in, in, interracial, interracial dating, interracial marriage, that's a state's right issue. The same thing would be happening with that here in Arizona. That would suddenly make interracial dating illegal because that law is still on the books. And, and that's, that's, that's appalling to me. And I remember reading an article a few years back, back when Priscilla and I were uh, a happy couple and I was regularly thinking, you know, I'd marry her if she didn't smoke. Um, there was, uh, wow, look at all this. This drive through for Chick-fil-A, they're so busy. Holy crap, double drive through um, Yeah, so they, uh, um, people waiting at this bus stop. God, I do not miss having to wait around sketchy people at bus stops. Never noticed that left turn arrow going into the hospital from 19th Avenue across the tracks. That's interesting. Um, 
sorry, I just didn't want to keep saying what I was saying, walking by all the sketchy people at the bus stop. And now I've lost my train of thought again. Oh, um, yeah, so when, when everything was really good with Priscilla and I, and it was it was coming up on Loving Day, and and I read an article and and there's there's two movies about about loving versus loving and I forget the name of them but um, one of them I've never seen because it's next to impossible to find on on any physical media and I don't have I, I uh, it, nobody streams it um, the other one which was called Loving we went and saw in the theater when it came out really really good um, God whoever did the casting for that movie just just hit it out of the park the the uh, characters who play Richard and uh, Mildred Loving look exactly like them it's freaking uncanny um, very moving movie uh, one I enjoy a lot and um, anyway so I'm reading some articles about the subject and and that's when I read uh, about how many states had laws on the books, which made it, which which prohibited, you know, actually criminalized. I mean, obviously the main one was you know Virginia. That's where Loving versus Loving took place. But um, but mentioning you know how many states had had laws prohibiting interracial marriage and interracial dating on their books, and and I was kind of mortified to see that Arizona was one of them. Um, yeah, I'm a, I'm a white person, and I, according to that Arizona law, am only to date or marry a white woman. Really not into that. So, uh, yeah, that's, that's horrible. Um, I forget the exact law. I wish I had it in front of me. I wish I could read the text right now, because I think it would be beneficial. But, at any rate, that's... I believe still on the books. I don't believe it's ever been repealed. I could be wrong. I hope I'm wrong. But if it's not, and for some reason, loving versus loving was overturned, um, that would become the law of the land. And there are several other states that have similar laws. So um, I don't know. I never really thought about things getting overturned by the Supreme Court, like some things I, I feel could be overturned by the Supreme Court and they're a good thing. I, I also support what, what happened, you know, as far as the constitutional right to carry and New York's freaking out about it, but their law violated the Second Amendment. It is what it is. Um, I mean, oh no, people will be carrying guns, newsflash. People in New York are car carrying guns. Criminals are carrying guns. Criminals don't give a shit about what the law is. So let's let's level the playing field. Let's follow the law. Um, yeah. Um, um, anyway, I think I'm talking in circles at this point. I should wrap this up. I'm, I'm ready to. I'm ready to go sing some karaoke. But um, in fact, I'm I'm really looking forward to singing the noose by A Perfect Circle that just got added to. Uh, uh, karaoke version, so of course it will be on Carafun, which is the subscription service Oswar uses. It's one of only two songs that I got added for karaoke this week. Um, just kind of got, well, I got a late start today, and then I kind of got fixated on on that song and a couple other things I was working on, and a woman I was talking with, so um, hey, sometimes it's more important to have quality over quantity, and the two songs that I added were the Rolling Stones, Shattered, and uh, The Noose by um, A Perfect Circle. And in, in my book, those are both absolutely top-tier songs. So, um, yeah, much rather add two songs that are amazing than ten songs that are okay. So, um, and, 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 and with the whole... Uh, topic of, of abortion and changes in abortion laws being front and center today the lyrics of the noose really uh, 
really registered with me as I was listening to it, listening to the track and singing along so much so that I felt the need to actually plug my microphone back in and sing along to it in, in, in my headphones, not as loudly and belted out as I'd like to, but just loud enough that I could hear how my voice sounded on it. And uh, yeah, I'd like to do a cover of that one. That's a such a powerful and great song. And, and, and uh, karaoke version got it right. Anyway, I'm just wasting time. I need to go in the bar. Thanks for thanks for coming along with the uh, with the walk, <laughs> extra long and excessive walk from my parking spot to the bar. Uh, and uh, yeah, I swear to God, I'm not going to let this disintegrate into a political channel. But today has just been a pretty pretty deep day as far as uh, things going on and and. Doing a lot of soul searching, just trying to figure out, you know, where do I even stand on this? And, and, uh, of course, it's uh, easy to just write it off as a breeder problem. <laughs>